So this Tobacco University video is going to look at the U.S. Surgeon General's advisory regarding marijuana use in the developing brain. All right, let's get into U.S. Surgeon General's advisory regarding marijuana use in the developing brain. So first off, marijuana use during pregnancy, and a lot of information is going to have uh, proper citations that you're welcome to look at. Marijuana's use during pregnancy can affect the developing fetus. THC can enter the fetal brain from the mother's bloodstream. It may disrupt the endocannabinoid system, which is important for a healthy pregnancy and fetal brain development. Studies have shown that marijuana use in pregnancy is associated with adverse outcomes, including lower birth weight. The Colorado Pregnancy Risk Assessment Monitoring System reported that uh, maternal marijuana use was associated with a 50% increase in risk of low birth weight, regardless of the maternal age, race, ethnicity, education, and also tobacco use. Kind of important there and a little concerning. We look at marijuana use during adolescence. So the human brain continues to develop from before birth into the mid-20s and is vulnerable to the effects of addictive substances. And again, this is just more than cannabis, but this is also looking at THC and marijuana in general. Here we can kind of see different regions of the brain and how THC may affect those. So THC can affect areas of our brain that control balance and coordination. Uh, so we kind of like maybe the green areas, then went under the influence of the frontal cortex, which would be in, located in this area area, decision-making becomes impaired, marijuana can affect the frontal cortex uh, involved in the decision-making process, and THC affects the cerebrum, uh, which can dull the feeling of pain, all things that can affect particularly teenage or adolescent brain. In addition, uh, frequent marijuana can marijuana use can during adolescence is associated with a whole bunch of other challenges as well. Ch changes of the brain involved in attention, memory, decision-making, and also motivation. Deficits in attention and memory have been de detected in marijuana using teens even after a month of abstinence. Impaired learning in adolescence, chronic use is linked to declines in IQ, school performance that jeopardizes professional, as well as social achievements and life satisfaction. Increased rates of school uh, absence and dropout as well as suicide attempts, uh, all negative impacts of chronic marijuana use during adolescence. There's also psychotic disorders as well. The risk of early onset psychotic disorders such as sch sch schizophrenia is possible. The risk for these disorders increases with the frequency of use, the potency of the marijuana product, and the age at first use uh, decreased. Uh, and as well as other substances used, there can be compounding effects as well. So again, these are just reasons for uh, looking at and reasons really for concern. Now, lastly, here we're just going to look at uh, teens. So in 2017, teens, the age 12 to 17, reported frequent use of marijuana showed a 130% greater likelihood of misusing opioids. This is based on the information presented here. Also, teens mixing prescription opioids with other substances, it also sadly works in the other way. Those uh, teens reported co-ingestion of prescription opioids with other drugs were eight times more likely to abuse marijuana. So it can work both ways. So this is important uh, to realize that the brain does continue to develop into the mid-20s, and the U.S. Surgeon General does have some concerns posted here regarding cannabis and THC, as well as other products as well. So again, just take this all into consideration for any drug you're looking at potentially consuming. 